Hey girls, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video and a highly requested video and it is my updated makeup collection video. I did a makeup collection back in January I think so it's been a little while and I don't think I've collected actually that much more makeup because um, I've kind of tried to slow down on my makeup collection because I think I have a really good makeup collection. It's perfect for me. It's a lot of products. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Um, but I really enjoy makeup. So it's just like anybody that has like a hobby or a collection or anything, they like to invest in it. So I figure this is like an investment for myself and for my enjoyment. But anyways, I'm going to link my last makeup tutorial my last makeup collection down in the down under bar so you can check that out if you haven't seen it um, basically I kind of rearranged it everything is pretty much in the same place um, I just kind of rearranged it to my liking and stuff like that um, so yeah I hope you girls find this video just fun I'm not in any way bragging that's you know basically this video is just for fun just to show you um, if you have a love for makeup my love for makeup, how I organize it, how I store it, and yeah, so you get some tips and stuff like that. So that's all this video is, just for fun, take it as what it is. Um, I hope you girls enjoy this. If you have a makeup collection that you've recently filmed, leave it as a video response down below. And I hope you girls enjoy this video, and let's go ahead and get into my makeup collection. Hey guys, so this is my makeup station, basically. This is just in a corner of the room. And if you haven't seen my like apartment tour, my room tour type thing, I will link that in the down bar. But basically, this desk is from Ikea, and I will link that down below, as well as this little storage that has a six-drawer storage, and that's also from Ikea. Um, my chair is just from Target, I believe. I have an iMac computer. Uh, and yeah, a little dry erase calendar board that I got from Target and just some knickknacks above there. Um, so yeah, basically this is where I do my makeup every single morning. That's the mirror that I use. And all of my brushes I keep in these little Michael Kors. Um, these are watch things that the watches come in and then I just kind of clean them out and put my brushes in them. Okay, so in this first drawer, I just keep my makeup bag in this, and this is just from Target. I got it from a collection a while ago, and it's just a gold little elephant, because I'm obsessed with elephants, obviously, and it's this two-zippered makeup pouch. I travel every single weekend um, to go visit my boyfriend, and I put all of my makeup in there, so I like to just keep it right in here. That's the only thing I keep in here, um, and then I just pack it every weekend full of makeup. And then down in here, I keep some of my bigger palettes, so I have an Urban Decay, um, the Book of Shadows, I think Volume 4. Four. I have some e.l.f. palettes down there. I have BH Cosmetics 120 color and then the 88 neutral palette in there. This is where I store all of my makeup. I have a pretty extensive makeup collection, I think, um, but it's perfect for me and I really, really love my makeup. So I'm obsessed with makeup. Let's just start with that. The first thing I just have um, on my desk are just these little things. These are actually glass containers from Candles that I got at Bath and Body Works. They're one of those three wick candles. And in here I just have some random, I just have a pack of Kleenexes. That's what that colorful little thing is. I have the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. I have some ponytail holders and some bobby pins in there. And then in this one over here I have just an Eco Tools brush, the Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser, um, some Niels Bourne, a little washcloth, some scissors. I have a Sigma brush little box back there because I thought it was cute. And then in this little thing, um, I got this from Target and it's supposed to be like a letter organizer, something like that, but I keep my Naked Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2 palettes, my MAC palette, and behind there in the back is the um, Beach Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. If you want to see what's in my MAC palette, I will link the video down below. I just customized it um, with all eyeshadows. And then I keep this Bobbi Brown um, makeup manual. And this is just a little elephant that um, someone got for me. And I really, really like elephants, so I just put them everywhere throughout my room. Okay, so that's what's on top of my makeup storage. And then, as you can see, I have six drawers that pull out of this um, rolly thing, which is quite nice. Um, I will link where you can get this down below. It has three smaller shelves and then three a little bit larger shelves. So in this first drawer, I keep all of my face products. So basically, um, anywhere from my powders. So this, these are just all of my face powders. I have anywhere from Maybelline to Milani, Dream Matte. Dream Matte Powder from Maybelline, I have Allure Mercier, I have Philosophy, um, Clinique, 
just a bunch of different random face powders and setting powders. And then in this drawer, I keep some old Beauty Blender sponges back here as well as a new one. I have Max Fix Plus. I have Laura Mercier Primer, um, a L'Oreal Primer. I have just a face lotion, e.l.f. Um, and these are all of my concealers. So I have Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller Balls that I'm obsessed with. Um, I have Benefits Erase Paste, Laura Mercier Undercover Pots. I have uh, Amazing Cosmetics, Dream Lumi Touch from um, L'Oreal, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but that's in there. And then in here, I just keep like my most used everyday um, face products that I use basically every single day. And these are just some tools that I use. And these are my two beauty blender sponges and the e.l.f. Kabuki brush that I use every single day. And then back there is just like a random mix of samples anywhere from like... Um, highlighters, liquid highlighters, to primers, all that kind of stuff, mostly primers. And then these are all of my foundations. Um, so I have Laura Mercier, Benefit, Neutrogena, um, Chanel, Vita, Origins, Vita Zing. I have some CoverGirl Nature Lux, some CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers. I have a Maybelline Liquid Dream Mousse. And then I have a Garnier BB Cream. So that is the first drawer. Okay, and then in this second drawer, I have all of my eye stuff. So this is where I keep all of my mascaras, my eyeshadows, anything like that. So in this first one over here, I have a Wet n Wild sharpener. I have my Milani Brow Fix kit that I use every single day to fill on my eyebrows, just about anyways. Um, I have all of my cream pot shadows. So I have anywhere from Benefit to um, More Benefit to Maybelline Eye Studio, I mean Maybelline Color Tattoos, the 24 hour ones. And then in here I have, um, these are just the Revlon um, cream illuminator shadows. So I keep all of my cream products right in here. And then back here I have just like cream and gel um, eyeliners in pots. And then over here I keep my mascaras. And I know I'm a total mascara hoarder. It's a total, it's a horrible problem of mine. But I have some Urban Decay Potion Primers up here, so I have a travel one, the Sin, Eden, and the Originals. And then all of these are mascaras, tons and tons of mascaras. I have some sample ones way back there, not sure if you can see. This drawer just goes on forever and ever. I'm terrible with mascaras. I know. I know you're supposed to throw them out every three months. I just don't. I'm obsessed with mascaras because I use a different one just about every day, so... That's my problem. And then in here I have a bunch of liquid eyeliners. So I have like Maybelline, I have L'Oreal, I have um, Urban Decay, I have Physician's Formula. I have an Anastasia Brow Powder in here. Um, I have some samples from Benefit like Stay Don't Stray, High Beam, Ooh La La. Um, I have all of my pencil liners back here. So, so this is like a Benefit Gilded, a L'Oreal. And then underneath I have all my other pencil liners and then an Anastasia Brow Setting Gel. And that's that. And then over here are all of my single and trios and um, trios and duos and stuff like that. So I have um, some Lancome. I have Clinique, Smashbox, um, Stila Kitten. I have L'Oreal, a Matt Rub Mac Rubenesque paint pot. I have some NYX singles. These are from... Um, Demure. I got these as a gift from someone um, a long time ago. And then I got some L'Oreal... And then a Maybelline. I have these hard candy duos that I love. I have some e.l.f. Um, quads. I have a Lancome, another Clinique. These are all e.l.f. single eyeshadows. And then underneath I have an e.l.f. Um, palette, like a quad, that you can customize yourself. And then under here I have some Cover Girls. I have like the Romance palette down there. I have the... Um, Shimmering Sands, and then I have two of the duos in Champagne and in, um, I think this one is Taupe. And then I have back here all of my Wet n Wild. So I have the Comfort Zone palette and then a bunch of trios down there. So yeah, love those. They're amazing. And then over here I have the Elf Eyelash Curler and just a sample of the um, Lancome by Facil Eye Makeup Removers. Moving on to this drawer is all of my lip products. Um, I just have it simply a little bit more a little differently arranged than my last makeup collection video, but I don't think I bought too many more lip products since then. Um, over here I have an EOS, I have a Quora's lip butter, and a L'Oreal hip jelly balm. All of my juicy little tubey kind of lip glosses, drugstore, um, and Quora's, Bath and Body Works, stuff like that. Also, some Victoria's Secret ones in there, Beauty Rushes. Over here I have just a bunch of different 
kinds. I have a Pangea Organics, I have some Maybelline Baby Lips, I have some Small Posy Tints, a Staniac, a Jouer, a Tarte, and then these are two MAC Tender Tones in Hush, Hush, and Purring. And then back here I have all of my kind of doe foot applicator lip glosses. I have um, a bunch of different elves. I love them. The glossy glosses are my favorite. I have some Revlon. I have some elf matte lipsticks. I have some MAC Dazzle Gloss and Cream Sheen. I have some lip stains from CoverGirl and Rimmel. I have a Buxom lip gloss, Benefit, um, Maybelline. Rimmels, they're just, I love all these things. And then I have some e.l.f. tinted lip conditioners. So I really love um, lip products, as you can tell. I don't really wear them all that much. It's very strange day to day, but I love them, nevertheless. I have a bunch of Revlon um, Color Burst lip butters. I have a lot of the um, L'Oreal Color Reach Bombs that I really like. I have a, I think this is L'Oreal Ferris Nude. I have MAC Cream, Cream Cup. I have some of these... Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain Bombs that I really do like. Um, a bunch of Stila Lip Glazes, Cover Girl, and Rimmel, and Clinique. So that is that drawer. So this right here are all of my bronzers and highlighters and a couple of different blushes as well. So I have the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I have a Physician's Formula. I have the e.l.f. Golden and Warm Bronzer underneath here. I have two of the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powders. I have a Bare Minerals... Um, warmth. That's just like a liquid, I mean a powder bronzer like that. I have a little rock um, shimmering kind of gel type thing. Some NARS Orgasm um, illuminators, luminizers. And then I have a Neutrogena blush under here which is just a really fresh nice pink. I have hard candy bro um, so baked bronzer in Tiki which I use for a highlighter. Benefits High Beam is one of my favorite highlighters. Then back here I have all of my high end um, blushes and bronzers. So I have Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I have Bella Bamba, Coralista, Hula, and Hervana. Those are all box powders from Benefit. I have a bunch of different MAC blushes. So I have Gingerly I think, Fleur Power, Dainty, kind of the same blushes. Um, just pinks and neutral colors like that. And then I have for um, NARS blushes, which I think I have Albatross, which is a highlighter, Deep Throat, Amour, and Madly blush. And then over here I have a bunch of the e.l.f. single blushes. I absolutely love these, so I think I have just about every one of them, um, and I really like them. And then I have the box, Fox in a Box powders from Hard Candy, which I really like and are pretty similar to the Benefit, but um, I like Benefit's color selection more, but these are really nice and really pigmented. And then I have um, some drugstores, some Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, stuff like that. And then I have one of these just kind of powder um, blushes from L'Oreal that I don't use all that much. Some brushes that came in the Benefit box powders if I ever want to use them, which I never do. Um, I have some samples of Benefit box powders. I have Dream Bouncy blushes, Sonia Cash Shook, um, Elf cream blushes, a Maybelline. Um, yeah, so basically this is my blush and bronzer and highlighter drawer. Love that. Moving on to this drawer, um, this isn't makeup. This is just kind of random stuff. So I have some lotions from Bath and Body Works, ton of them, some Pond's makeup remover wipes just to kind of keep while I'm doing makeup. I have these things that I need to back to MAC, which are just empty eyeshadow pots. These, which I back to Lush, and you get a free face mask if you have five of them, which is really cool. I have some samples. I got these in like a birch box. Um, they're just self-tanning wipes. Some pink, some lotion, and then some CVS um, nail polish remover. So yeah, that's basically that drawer. And this last drawer has grown quite a bit since my last makeup collection, and it is my um, nail polish collection. So I have quite a bit. If you start over here, I have a bunch of OPI down at the bottom, then they go up to China glazes. Then I have all these are Essie with the white tops, and then all these are kind of like Sally Hansen and Revlon. Those are a bunch of minis down there. Those are kind of all my nail tools, so like nail polish remover, um, cuticle oil, top coat, base coat, nippers, just a bunch of different stuff over there. So yeah, this is the part of my collection that's really grown the most, I think, since my last um, collection video in January, but um, I love nail polish. And I'm kind of bummed that I don't get to wear it every day because of my job, but I really do enjoy it when I can. And I also have some nail strips over on here, so I have some Sally Hansen and some Sephora, different stuff like that. So that is my nail polishes. 
Okay, so that is all for my makeup collection. I hope you girls really enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!